Okay. Let's keep on keep rolling. So you can put baking soda on the clothes and let them sit and then the next day wash it out and it will have removed the makeup residue or any stains that you might have. You can repeat it again. So but right now I wouldn't I'm risking so yeah. should I take the shirt when I do this? I feel like you should make sure your shirts off, have a towel. Mm. Because okay. makeup does stain. So let's do this way. Right. Okay. I can put it back later. Later, not for the show. Okay. And uh, that's fine. Okay. Hey guys. Okay. So you can use the sponge if you would like. Okay. You can put the if you would like to use On the this? sponge. Yes. So where, where in which part? Um, just dab it. On the side. Dab some on your hand. Squeeze it out on your hand. You can squeeze it. Squeeze it. It'll come out. They just give you a brush for if you your personal makeup. You put it on you. Get some more. More? Mm-hmm. Because the sponge is going to soak it up. Okay. More? Okay. That's good. Okay. Take the sponge and put it, dab it on there. On the side? Or? Like this. All right. Now, find the blemishes that you do not like. That's how I do it? Mm-hmm. And I rub it until it disappears? So like yes, what? it's going to be a little bit brighter just to cover them up. Yeah. How do I know which blemishes are I want to disappear and which I want to stay? Or is just all It's your personal preference. Mm -hmm. If you believe that you have a beauty mark there and that's where you want it to stay and you want to show it, you can leave it. Okay. If not, you want to cover it up, you want to hide it, it. Is it sufficient or I need more? You might need some more. So look at it and see if it's covering up because the foundation is going to cover it up more. So the guys, do we need like a flashlight uh, to light my, my skin uh, so I can see? Or like, uh, or the, like what's the... You don't know when mm -hmm. it's... You know where if the... I need to uh, rub it in. Rub it in. Dab a little bit. Don't rub it in too much because you need it to dry on that spot. Oh, wait, wait. wait oh no, up. keep going, keep going. Oh, uh, is there a way? Let's say I I don't think here I didn't shave well or mm -hmm. here I shaved better. Is there a way to even those uh, spots? Yes. After you put all you. Yeah. Mark the um, imperfect imperfections. Mm -hmm. Then you go over it with the foundation, and it the foundation will right now. I don't look very much natural to me. Oh no, no. that's no, that's because it's concealer. Concealer conceals it hides the blemishes. So when you do your foundation, it makes everything equal. Okay. Oh, careful. Oh, it's okay. It didn't get anything. I didn't know you had a stick. So what you want to do, do you like using the sponge or do you like the brushes? I, I'm doing this for the first time on my own, so I always, someone else done it for me and uh, I never pay attention to what they're doing. So the, <laughs> so the, this is this is the first time for me learning the language and the stuff, so. All right, well, this is very, it's liquid, so you got to be very careful with it. Just put a little bit. Rub, we're going to make sure that's your tone, though. Let's show it to the camera. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? Do y'all think this blends with him? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. So what you're going to do is go ahead and 
what we what as females call it is beat your face. What's that mean? <laughs> that means make yourself look real good. Go ahead and put, pat it on, rub it in. Get it in Looking different more. spots. Get some on that side. Put it on top of the concealer. And evenly distribute it. You're going to have to put more foundation probably on your sponge because you have to do your whole face. Andrew, do you think I look better or worse? <laughs> you so need <laughs> more. <laughs> <laughs> I think on that part, I. So you're doing very well. You just gotta. Yeah, you gotta do the whole forehead, your forehead, underneath your eyes, really? oh, your before. nose. You gotta do the whole face. Oh my god. Foundation okay. goes on the whole face. Okay, put it on this hand. So left hand for the concealer. Right hand for the uh, whatever what, what's, hand. what's the name of this foundation? Foundation. So, yes, right hand uh, foundation, left hand concealer. Whatever is easier for you, because you're doing it yourself. So normally, whatever you're, I'm my right, I'm dominant with my right hand. So I put everything, all my makeup on my left hand to do my makeup, because it's like a palette for me to on my face. Nose also. Nose, the bridge, the out, underneath. Don't put too much. I, I see. I see. <laughs> you gotta rub it in. I seen uh, when it's uh, like a down, uh, in particular spots more than the. Uh, yeah, oops. you gotta do the base first. This is the base. You gotta evenly distribute it. You're gonna probably go back over your forehead again, on your eyes. I know I don't look very masculine when I'm doing this, but guys, you, you're gonna do it uh, for the sake of uh, getting. Yeah. Make sure you look. do under your nose, on your mustache, around the cracks of your lip, underneath your lip, and with your neck, back here as well, to go down with your neck. How do I make all this uh, wash? I use just soap to. Do you use a uh, makeup remover? Makeup remover. Depending if you have a waterproof makeup, sweatproof makeup, or just regular makeup where it water damages it and sweat makes you look very sweaty. Do I have it in my set? Um, makeup remover? I didn't think to see it. I can check. Okay. And you can wash it off with soap as well if it's a normal makeup, but you want to get deep in your pores and clean it with makeup remover. And if you have alcohol, if you don't have anything else, you can use alcohol to wipe it off. Keep on blending. You gotta do. You see how this? You see? Do you see these lines right here on your face? Mm -hmm. You need to blend them out to make it one face. And get under your eyelids, those dark circles. So you gotta open your eyes, look up, and rub, rub those bags away. Look up. You see how this is a little darker than your face underneath your eye. Mm -hmm. You gotta make sure you get under there. You gotta open your eye. I, I don't want it to get in my eye. It's not. Open your eye, look up. There you go. <laughs> rub underneath. You gotta rub it real good because it, it's gonna leave. Guys, right, this is not easy. <laughs> We're filming in a real uh, makeup set which has real uh, toilet so once in a while when Abigail come close to that spot it, it can flush. What do you think? <laughs> I think you need to blend more on your forehead and your eyebrows. Do you see? Look closely. That's why you need a close mirror. Oh, I see the difference. Yeah. So for the guys like me who don't see well in the distance, now I see the difference with the mirror because this is a ma ma this is kind of makes everything bigger. 
Now I see all in the imperfection that I did when I shave. And the, this thing gets in my ha hair. Now I see my hair is uh, getting uh, messy. That's is there anything I can do about this? You can do clips. The makeup will come right off your hair. How it will come off? Easy, just water. And, and when I'm doing this uh, in the getting ready, mm -hmm. just wash my face with, with water? No, no, no. Okay, with my hair? If you have long hair that drags in your I face. I don't have long hair. Oh no, for guys that do, that might have mm -hmm. long hair, they can use clips, bobby pins, clips. If you have a lot mm -hmm. of hair, ponytail it. But you always want to get the makeup to go in the edge of your hair root so it blends as if it's mm -hmm. your natural. Wow, well, I see now the luxury sure stuff. That's a zoom, that's a zoom mirror, this is normal. That one's gonna show you every pore on your face. Is it good or bad? I mean, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, because you're like, oh my God, you see everything. And this is one time use, right? Or I can um, use it again and again? Well, you can dispose those, but- Or wash them? I, I would prefer normally throwing those in the trash and just getting gotcha. more. Unless mm. you get like the real expensive ones, mm -hmm. you, wa you would want to wash those out because they're very expensive and good to use. Okay, are we good on this? We can move yes, to the next. Blend, blend over here. You gotta make sure everything's blended in. Okay. Go down a little bit to your roots. 